Before activating and sending out your marketing campaign to your audience, it's a good idea to do a quick check on their email addresses just to make sure that the addresses are valid and also to avoid any duplicates. In this video, I want to show you how to use the list simulation feature to validate the recipient's email addresses for your campaigns in Act Marketing Automation. Let's go look at the workflow for one of my campaigns. And from here, we'll go to the Actions menu and I'm going to click List Simulation. In this window, you'll see a summary of what's about to happen. Act Marketing Automation is going to email a spreadsheet to you that contains a list of all of the email addresses assigned to this campaign. To receive this, just click Send Report. In a few moments, you should see an email that looks like this. To view the spreadsheet, it should be attached to your email, so just go ahead and open that. Now in this spreadsheet, there are four columns, but we only need to be concerned with the last column, and it's called Status. Ideally, we should see the word valid here. However, sometimes you might see things like the word blank or duplicate. If you see the word blank, well, that means that there's no email address associated with a contact. If you see the word duplicate, that just means the email address is already on this list. If you're using an inclusion or exclusion list, you're more likely to see duplicates on this report. So don't be alarmed. If you see any blank records, it's a good idea to address them by going back to your ACT database and then just making sure that all of your contacts have email addresses associated with them. And then once you've done that, your campaign will stand a greater chance of success.